Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series headless RHMI panel established communication. And last time we unboxed this unit and now we will be looking at the actual unit itself, powering it up and then establishing, like we said, our communication to the unit for programming. So let's just take a look at what we have here. And here is my um, Rhino power supply, which is providing 24 volt to my uh, EA9 RHMI. And if I power this up, we will now see uh, our indicating lights come on and it will go through a boot process for us. And we don't have to worry about the power and the um, polarity of the power. We do have short circuit protected, uh, protection already in this unit. So here we're booting up. You can see my power light is on, so my 24 volts is coming in. And I have my CPU blinking right now, indicating I'm, I'm powering up. My switch right now is in the run mode. So at the end of it, um, we will have the run mode indicator, the run light on. So there's my boot up sequence. You also saw I, or heard a series of beeps as well. And those beeps indicate that it's actually booting up. Now let's, uh, communicate, let's uh, connect our ethernet port to our unit. And we'll establish the um, lights. You can see them flashing on and off. Let me move this over a little bit for you. So let's go to our software here, our Seymour programming software. This is version 6.52. And what we'll do is we will um, start a new project. And in the screen here what we'll do is say read from panel and our connection type Ethernet so if it didn't come up we would hit browse um, and again security blocks a few things we're gonna allow access there we go and what we have here is our communication you'll see that our firmware version is 6.49 we're in 6.52, so we'll need to do an update for our firmware. And if we want, we can blink the screen um, so that we, uh, we know that this is the right unit that we're communicating to. So we'll just hit uh, cancel on that one, and then we'll hit read project. And again, it warns me that I have an older version in there. We'll just hit OK. So we're going to read that panel and there we go and we'll set okay and this is the panel now that we have in there which is just a bitmap so we can save that project we'll just leave the default and now we can do our um, panel and update firmware and it's going to give me a notice saying update firmware only and we'll hit start update so now we're updating our unit now this is ideal so our headless Seymour unit will sit in our panel and communicate the devices that and add special features to those devices and the and the devices could be a uh, micro PLC like a click it could be a network of temperature controllers. There's a variety of different things that this um, unit can be used for. And then once we have that connection, we can add things like um, data logging. We can add things like graphing. We can use remote um, um, HMI to it. So there's a few different things that we can actually communicate and make our unit more functional. So we'll just hit OK because our update firmware is okay. So now you'll see that my unit is going through my boot up procedure again. There we go. And now my run light and right now the 
orange light indicates now I do not have a project in the unit itself. So we'll just send this uh, previous project that we had back into the unit. And there we go, it transferred in okay. And once again, now you'll see that my run light is now solid, meaning that we now have a program in there and it's displaying that program. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.